From Tampa Bay Streaming News Source, brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com, this is ABC Action News. I would have loved to have been the president who presided over the end of cancer as we know it. Former Vice President Joe Biden is coming to the Bay Area tonight to talk about a painful moment in his life. I'm Dia Riley. We'll get to his visit coming up in just a moment. But first, though, expect a hot and humid day across the Bay Area. Greg D has your full forecast coming up. But first, though, here are your ABC Action News headlines. A bittersweet graduation for students in Parkland, Florida. Yesterday, they honored four classmates murdered in February shooting who were supposed to walk alongside them. Their family members received the diplomas. For survivors, it was hard thinking of the friends that they lost. As I wish that she could be walking across it with me, as I wish she could be going off to college with me, Garmin will forever be with me. Tonight's show host Jimmy Fallon was a surprise speaker and urged graduates to move forward. Marion County detectives arrest a man for choking a woman to death with a phone cord. Deputies say Eric Todd Gay killed the victim after she found him stealing prescription medications and cash from her home. They say after her murder, he put her body in the trunk of her car. Her roommate tracked down the car and discovered her body. Pinellas County deputies arrest a driver for DUI manslaughter for hitting and killing a couple trying to cross Gulf Boulevard in Treasure Island. The sheriff's office reports Aleem Hamid sped off, but they tracked him down a mile away. Authorities say he seemed impaired, but he refused to take a breathalyzer or a blood test. Hundreds of people turned out for a memorial bicycle ride to honor a mother and her little girl killed by suspected street racers on Bayshore Boulevard. These cyclists wanted the family of Jessica and Lilia Ravenel to know how sorry they are for what happened. They're also calling for more safety improvements. You need signs. You need markers on the road. Um, flashing lights. Flashing lights. You know, it's it, uh, us as, as the city of Tampa is growing. There's a lot of people coming to this city and uh, they really need to do something about it. Organizers raffled off three bikes with all the proceeds going to Jessica and Lilia's family. They raised nearly $3,500. Former Vice President Joe Biden will be in St. Pete tonight. It's part of his nationwide tour in support of his memoirs, Promise Me Dad, where he discusses his time in office and losing his son to cancer. He will speak at the Mahaffey Theater at 730. Tickets are still available if you want to go. Earlier this year, Mr. Biden said that he's not ruling out a run for president in 2020 and says all options remain open. You have until Thursday night at midnight to take advantage of Florida's sales tax holiday on hurricane supplies, but you might want to call ahead to make sure stores have the item that you need. Employees at the Home Depot on Memorial Highway in Tampa tell us they sold out of large generators, but they expect more in stock soon. I want to check in now with Greg D for a look at our forecast on this Monday. Now is the time to get all that, Dia. Good morning, everybody. No activity in the tropics right now, so that's good news. Perfect time to prepare. For us, it'll feel tropical through the afternoon. Temperatures in the upper 80s, but with this high humidity, it'll feel like the mid to upper 90s, especially between noon and 4 o'clock this afternoon. Slight chance for a pop-up during the day. You can always track those pop-up afternoon storms by downloading the Storm Shield app in our app store, Dia. All right, thanks, Greg. You can now get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device and don't forget to download the free ABC Action News app. This ABC Action News Brief was brought to you by AlertFloridaToday.com. Pedestrians always use the crosswalk and cross with the signal when crossing the street because safety doesn't happen by accident.